Good morning, good morning. I am going to begin this video with a bit of reader feedback. So I received a DM last week that reads, love listening to your videos. You are so smart. Put a book, put a book under the laptop so we can see more of your eyes and less up your nose. So first of all, I think this is the best way to offer a piece of critical, um, constructive criticism because you are leading with a compliment. So thank you for that. And in all seriousness, um, I thought that this would be a good way to talk about uh, some less than constructive uh, feedback that I have received recently and uh, tell you how I have tried to turn that around and make it into something constructive. So the first thing, it, there are more than two examples, but I'm only gonna give two. Um, so the first thing is that when, um, when the, the Bones and All film news dropped a few months ago, uh, inevitably, the um, trolls found a video I did back in 2019 when the project was first announced. And I was talking about why I wrote a novel about cannibals as a vegan. And I was, in the video I was talking about factory farming and animal cruelty. And this person um, left comments on a couple of my videos uh, one of the only one that I remember said you look and sound insane I think on the other one he said something like blah 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 veggies rights so that just goes to show you gives you an idea of that that man's uh, critical capacity so the other the other thing that I the other anecdote I want to share is uh, happened right over here a couple of weeks ago. I have an armchair over here by the window. Uh, the window was open, it was a beautiful evening. My family was over for dinner, they were sitting over here and someone said something funny. And I laughed and I, I think that I, I must have kind of a loud, obnoxious laugh and it is what it is. I mean, if you say something funny, I'm probably gonna laugh a little too loud, um, but at least you never have to wonder, you know, did this joke land with Camille? Yes, yes it did. So I, so I laughed, and from the street, we hear someone, a man, go, ha ha ha, like exactly mimicking my laugh. And we all looked at each other, and this, this happened a couple a couple weeks ago. My sister brought it up again last night because she was like, you, you're not even free from mockery inside your own home. <laughs> so what did I what did I learn from these experiences? <clears throat> Two things. You learn how to or, or decide how you want to respond and usually you're not going to respond to the person, right? But you, how you're going to respond internally, so that's question number one. Question number two is, how can I use this feedback to reaffirm my chosen identity? So in these, in these cases, number one, um, I respond to trolls on YouTube or elsewhere by uh, deleting the comment and reporting it because as Austin Kleon's wife says, and I can't remember if this is on his blog or in one of his books, but at one point she said to him, don't leave nasty comments on the blog. It's like letting someone take a dump in your living room. You wouldn't allow that. So don't allow people to leave toxic, leave their toxic waste in your digital space, right? So that's, that's who I want, that's, that's how I want to respond and that's who I want to be uh, in response to trolls. No nonsense, I'm not gonna try to reason with you. You've chosen a path that veers sharply away from the whole concept of reason. And then for part two, 
do I want to continue to be the kind of person who speaks the truth about animal cruelty within our food system? Yes, yes I do, of course. And so that's actually really helpful in the end because that gives me a chance to reaffirm that that identity that I have chosen for myself. So and then in in the second um, my second anecdote, I wanted to, you know, you know, of course you respond to beat too slow and it's like the dude was gone. Um, but I thought about, you know, calling out the window, you schmuck, you know, and I'm glad that I, that I was too slow to do that because that's not who I want to be. Right. And so the question is, do I want to continue to be the kind of person who maybe laughs a little too loud by some people's, um, in some people's estimation? That's okay. I, I don't want to censor myself when someone tells a joke that I think is funny. It just, that's not who I want to be. I don't want to be someone who is constantly, um, modulating themselves and, and um, watching themselves in that way. And so basically both of these, you know, insults that I, both of these insults that I received told me that I am exactly the person I want to be. And so that's, that's my, that's my suggested takeaway for you is what, whenever someone says or does something that is hurtful, that is deliberately hurtful or maybe less deliberately, use it as a chance to step even more in, into the person you want to become or if you already are totally happy with the person you are in a certain respect, then you use that as, as positive reinforcement for yourself. So if you are kind of shaky about the whole, like what is my chosen identity? Uh, I do have a few really fun worksheets that are a, preview of my course, The Bright Idea Kit, which exists to get you into the right frame of mind for generating more original ideas. So there is a preview. It is, uh, you can find it at cometparty.teachable.com or you can just drop me your, if you're not already on my, on my mailing list, if you're on my mailing list, then you have access to it in my resource library. If you're not already on my mailing list, just DM me with your email address and I'll, I'll sign you up. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks. Thank you so much to everybody who joined live. You guys are the best. Oh, you, you folks are the best.